Hi everyone! Welcome to another NECF art tutorial. Today we will be drawing a toucan. So the materials you will be needing for today are a marker, a piece of plain white paper, some colored pencils, I have black, red, orange, yellow, green, and brown. I'm taking my marker and I'm going to start drawing the beak. The beak is just a curve down and then another curve that connects it into a point. And that is the top part of the beak. For the bottom part of the beak, draw a line and then curve up. To connect the top part of the beak and the bottom part of the beak, draw a line across the three lines so it's connected. Next, I'm going to draw the head which is a curve up from the corner of the beak and then down. And as you can see, the curve ends slightly below where the beak is. And now I'm gonna draw the body, which is another curve starting at where I ended the head. And then starting at the bottom corner of the beak, draw a slanted line. And then to finish off the body, I'm drawing another curve and connecting it with the back. For the eye, I'm going to position it to the left of the beak. So I'm going to draw a circle and then a smaller circle inside and then a very small circle on the top right corner. Next, I'm going to shade in the middle circle with my black marker. Make sure you leave the big circle and the very small circle white. Only color in the middle circle. Next, I'm going to draw the wings. So I'm gonna draw a curve that matches the one on the body as you can see, I've left the gap in between and then draw a curve upwards so that the lines are connected. Next, I'm going to draw a design onto the bird's face that goes around the eye. So I'm gonna start on the corner of the beak and curve down to where the body is. As you can see, it goes around the eye. This is the only part we're going to leave white. Next, I'm drawing a few lines on the beak, and this will help us when we're coloring because each gap will be colored a different color. Now I'm drawing the tail by drawing two lines going outwards and then bumps to connect the tail together. Next, I'm going to draw the legs. So for the legs, I'm drawing two U's, two upside down U's, and then small bumps on the bottom. So the bird has three toes. Now I'm gonna draw a branch so that it seems like the bird is standing on a tree. So I'm gonna start from the tail and draw a line to the left foot and then draw a line from the left foot to the right foot. And then from the right foot, I'm going to draw a line that's wig wiggly and wavy because branches aren't perfect. And this tree branch is actually gonna split off. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom so that it seems like the bird is actually holding onto the branch. And then I'm gonna do the same thing draw a wavy line that goes out and my branch is going to split off into two you can draw some leaves on your branches by drawing a curve and it should end in a narrow point 
and you can draw a line in the middle. You can place your leaves wherever you would like. Next, I'm going to begin coloring. The body will be black, and the beak will be red, orange, yellow, and green, and the branches will be brown. So as you can see, I have colored the body with black, and here I'm using light pressure to color in the wing and the tail. I'm still using black. And I've left the part surrounding the eye white. For the beak, I'm using red. Orange. Yellow. Green. and black. And for the bottom part of the beak, I'm going to be using the orange. Now for the branch, I'm going to color it in brown and the leaves green. The feet, I'm using an orange to color in. So this is our completed product. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please be sure to check out our website to sign up for some free online classes and check out our other videos on our YouTube channel for more tutorials. Thank you!